Gusty conditions are sweeping over the islands, bringing down trees and causing power problems in some areas. This is a large tree blocking Alani Drive in Manoa. We're told the 125 foot tall tree came down around 5 o'clock this evening, taking down some utility lines with it. It was a huge gust of wind. You could just hear it kind of ripping through. It was, the gust was noisy as it was, all the trees like going back and forth. And I just heard like something sounded like almost like a bomb, just a big crashing noise. It was it was pretty scary. I mean, I jumped and my you know my dog was just like petrified. He was like shaking for a half an hour. We're told the tree spans about 40 feet, making it hard to remove and difficult for some residents to get to their homes. Aside from the situation in Mana, there are about 400 people without power in the Aina Haina area. We can't say for sure that weather is to blame, but the wind very strong tonight. Let's go to Justin Cruz now with more. Jess. Well, Bridget, there are wind advisories in place, not for Kauai or Oahu, but parts of Maui County, for example, the island of Lanai, Central Valley, and much of the Big Island with those winds potentially bringing about 20 to 30, maybe 35 mile per hour sustained wind speeds with gusts up to 50 miles per hour. Here are the wind speeds tonight. Now, these are very strong compared to what we normally see during a trade wind evening. 25 for Honolulu in the 30s for much of Maui County, 22 for Lihue, and look at South Point, 27, as those winds race around South Point and into the open ocean. And these winds are expected to remain on the stronger side for at least the next two days or so. The good thing about it is it does make the temperatures feel very cool. 70 last night in Honolulu, as well as Lihue, 71 in Kahului in the 60s for Lanai City, as well as Kailua, Kona, as well as Hilo. But the temperatures, well, you have to include some of this rain and another rain and moved through Kauai earlier today. Look at all this rain that is upstream from Oahu. If you think the wet weather is going to clear anytime soon, probably not. It's probably going to be a wet morning for much of the state tomorrow as this uh, band slowly moves into Maui overnight and then eventually the Big Island. So the blustery weather is sticking around. We'll have a mix of sunshine and very active windward and Malka showers. Those trades are going to be 25 to 30 miles per hour, at least for most areas. And when does the dry weather and lighter winds kick back in? Well, that's around late Thursday, no later than Friday.